Welcome. This video is on how to factor two terms. Now, anytime you factor two terms, three terms, or four terms, you always have to remember, before using any factoring method, check to see if you can factor out a greatest common factor. And there's a video on that, on factoring the greatest common factor. So the steps for factoring two terms are, step one, put each of the two terms in a perfect square. Something to the second power minus something to the second power. And a very important part here is that you must have a minus sign between them. There must be a minus sign between them. Step two, put the following form using what you have in the parentheses. I had an A in the first parentheses and a B. So you're going to have two big parentheses, an A and an A in the first part, a B and a B in the second part, and you're always going to have one plus and one minus. Okay, so let's try to use these steps to factor these problems. Step number one, I have x squared minus 81, factoring two terms. Step one, put them into a perfect square form, something squared minus something squared. What can I put in this first parentheses to get x squared? Well, just put an x in there. x squared equals x squared. Now, what goes into the second parentheses? Something squared has to equal 81, and that is 9. 9 squared equals 81. So that's step one. Once you have something squared minus something squared, perfect squares, now you put two big parentheses. Whatever was in the first parentheses goes into the first spot of each. Here at step two, do you see? Whatever is in the second parentheses, nine, goes into the second spot of each. You're always going to have one plus and one minus. And it does not matter which one you have, those plus or minus. And there's my answer, factoring two terms. So let's try the next problem. It's going to be something squared minus something squared. What can I put in this parentheses to try to equal 9x squared? Well, 3x squared. 3 squared is 9, and x squared is x squared. And in the second parentheses, 5 squared is 25. So I have my two parentheses, perfect squares. Now I write my two big parentheses. Whatever's in the first parentheses goes into the first spot of each. I have 3x in the first parentheses. I have 5 in the second parentheses, which is the second spot of each. Always going to have 1 plus and 1 minus. If you FOIL these two, if you multiply these two, you will get right back. You The middle terms will cancel out, and you will get right back where you started from, 9x squared minus 25. So my answer is 3x plus 5, 3x minus 5. I still have two more to do. Here we go. So remember I said, if you notice here, I cannot put this into something squared because there's a 2 here. That's not a perfect square. However, don't forget I said up here at the top, up at the top, there it is. Remember, before using any factoring method, check to see if you can factor out a greatest common factor. And I... Sh I mentioned that there is a separate video for finding the greatest common factor. So there is a greatest common factor here. What number can I divide into both of these? I can divide 2, each of these by 2. Put that outside of a parenthesis. And then divide both of these by 2. And I get 2 divided by 2 is 1w squared. 162 divided by 2 is a minus 81. Do you see how I factor it out of 2? Now I have a perfect square inside here. I can go through my steps. Step 1, make it something squared minus something squared and fill in the blanks. It's w squared, so all I need to do is put a w here. 81 is 9 squared. 9 squared is 81. Then we put two big parentheses. Whatever's in the first parentheses, w goes into the first spot of each. 9 is in the second parentheses, the second spot of each. 1 plus, 1 minus, and don't forget, there's still a 2 in front of this all. So here's the answer to this one. And the final one. 
something squared, something squared. So 4, I could put 2R here, and 9, I could put a 3 here. Wait a minute. Look what's between these two. This is a plus. What's between the other ones we did? A minus. Let's go back up and read the instructions. The instructions say there must be a minus sign between, between them or you cannot factor two terms. So you have to have a minus sign between two terms or you cannot factor it. I cannot factor this. And when we cannot factor, I cannot factor. And when you cannot factor something, we call it prime. So the answer to this one is you can't factor. The answer is it's prime. I hope this video helped factoring two terms. Thank you for watching.